What aspects of sociology are important when considering shale energy development? So sociology and energy development, we need to start thinking about what sociology is first, um, and, and that's a question that we often get. Social, sociology is a social science that focuses on how social systems and the way we're organized um, influences how individuals or collective groups um, act. Um, so for energy development, it means that we have research and a long history of research uh, and research methods that allow us to think about um, consistent patterns in how energy development unfolds in different places um, and how those patterns relate to the ways that our social systems are organized. So what's interesting here is that there's relatively, there has been relatively little research um, on energy prior to shale. So shale sort of launched a renaissance um, in energy and sociology. Um, in the last decade, it's just exploded. So the research initially began with thinking about what happens in communities um, where extraction is occurring. Um, and, it's, and, and public opinion as well, how people think about fracking is, is usually how it's phrased. Um, but since then, it's quickly mushroomed to think about protest movements, you know, regulatory systems, the way that people benefit or don't benefit from development into a very large set of, of research. Um, so sociologists are particularly understanding, interested in understanding how social systems around shale particularly can lead to inequality, um, how some portions of society consistently benefit while others do not, and how that matches onto other systems of inequalities. So really thinking about how the benefits and the risks are distributed across people and across groups.